Hey folks, how you doing? Just want to show you real quick. Finish that that knife that I called Bolo. I kind of change it, uh, change the shape over the, the top. You see that before I had like a straight and then the switch. I didn't like it once it everything was finished, so I rounded it off nicely, going downwards. Kind of like a I don't know. It wasn't actually Bolo. It was kind of like a reverse Bolo shape. Now it's more like a Kukri style blade, I would say. I did that uh, black micarta with the orange liners, a lot of you people did say that uh, micarta would look nice and I did want to try again micarta after a while, didn't work with it for a little bit so did the... micarta is really tough to work with you know if you if you start with the knives I definitely recommend starting with the G10 because it is much harder, much easier to work with micarta is harder so you might, you might get bummed out with the working such a tough with such a tough material, uh, still gonna have to probably clean it up a little more. I mean, it is comfortable. It has some spots that I didn't really like. See here, here still have to f clean that up. Uh, I have one scratch here that I might run more to get rid of it, so it's nice because it has a really nice satin finish. Overall, it has a convex grind from about half, half of the blade down, and but I, you know, rounded it off to make it look like full high convex. It's uh, about three and a half millimeter thick, three millimeter thick. Rounded off the spine. I like it. I like I like how it looks with the rounded spine, and uh, this little thumb rim I left sharp, so this this can be, this will be able to spark forward nicely, nice and sharp. You know. Not sharp, sharp, but really right, you know, squared off a uh, corner. So now I really like how it looks. You know, it looks like like a like a small cookery almost, no, but doesn't have that angle. But the blade is nice, recurve, nice, very, you know, like a uniform recurve with the downward shape on the top. I uh, really like the finish. Very happy with that. I think it's really beautiful satin finish. Except this one little thing, pretty much spotless and very uniform, which I like. Like that handle, my carta. I said it a couple times before, didn't say it in a while. My carta is my favorite material for the handle. Just the way it feels, it is my favorite. It's just not as pretty as G10, uh, not as natural as wood. Wood feels also really nice, but my carta is my favorite. Uh, but it is so hard to work with. Let me see if you can pick up the grain on it. It has those little layers in there, pretty nice. I have a little, you know, finger choil here. This is on the front for like a pinch grip or something. It's, I don't know, how often do you really use knife like this, but, you know, you always round it off somehow that front. I don't really, I really do not like when I see knives when it's just square and it rounds off this way. I really don't like it. And uh, rounding it off just like, a, you know, like a, you know, round like this. I think I think it's a little boring, so that's why I always do this. Plus, it also doubles if you ever, you know, want to use your knife in uh, this pinch grip. Very comfortable handle. It's pretty big. You see, even big hand. I still have almost inch of the handle on it, so even big hand should be very comfortable. I did two removable screws, linear hull, you know, chamfered, countersunk, whatever you want to call it. And uh, pretty happy with it. Like I said, still a little, little more work, just to just the visual wise, just the, the looks. But other than that, it's already in perfect working condition. This is super flimsy news uh, phone book paper, and uh, it is super razor sharp. Oh, I have a little nick there, it looks like. I didn't even see that before. Yep, tiny as, tiny as little nick. Not even noticeable by eye. Interesting. So, but still, it's still gonna go to the belt sender, so it probably re will require a little more finishing work and resharpening after that. Because I do want to get rid of this little scratch there on top. That was actually from when I was doing the switch. 
just so you know, the switch is really hard to nail nice. That's also one of the reasons why I got rid of it, I just didn't like it. And I, I do like it this way better. I think it is, you know, better looking with that, without that hump on the top. So let me know what you think, guys. Uh, I'll probably do a test video of this because it should, it should be really good working blade. The balance is nice in front, you know, right in front of the handle. So nice little, little blade heavy, little front heavy, should be good chopper even without the extra thickness. It's very light. Talking about weight, let, let me weight it for you. I'm curious myself too. Nine point four ounces. That is nice. That is very nice I think. It's a seven inch blade, so you know that's pretty big blade and pretty lightweight. So thanks for watching guys. Take care, stay safe and remember don't cut yourself.